Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and also to this beautiful world of Black Desert Online. Now, as promised in my fishing guide, I was going to tell you guys how to use the Ancient Relic Shard item to make more money. So in my fishing guide, I've actually asked you guys not to sell those Ancient Relic Shards. Now, it seems as if that the market pays a high price for it. But little do you know for new players that if you were to use those shards, you will be earning more money out of it. Okay, you cannot be looking at one item. You have to look at the overview of every item that you're going to get at from that relic shard. So today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys step by step. How do you store this ancient relic shards? Okay, because they don't stack in your inventory, but that doesn't mean they don't stack elsewhere. So I'm going to teach you how to stack them up together so you don't waste inventory slots and I'm going to teach you how to combine them into a scroll, how to proceed to the summoning location and I'm going to show you step by step on the boss, showcase the three bosses that you're going to engage and I'm going to teach you all one trick okay, to do quick summoning so you can summon very fast again and again and again and for that trick I'm going to put the description all right, the command in the description below and also at the end of the day I'm going to explain to you guys why you want to form a party okay for this whole summoning process now you can do it solo no doubt but you stand to gain a lot more all right when you do it in a party so I'm gonna teach you guys all this so without further ado let's jump into today's video tutorial first thing we want to do is go to the marketplace NPC not to buy the relic shards but to retrieve the relic shards and the reason why we go to marketplace NPC is because of this warehouse function over here now look at my inventory on the left the relic shards they do not stack okay it's one piece per slot in my inventory but notice that in the warehouse itself it actually stacks up it only takes up one inventory slots so this is one tip for you guys when you guys get it from fishing overnight etc when you afk once you come back just store everything in this warehouse the next thing you want to do is open your inventory but before you can combine any scrolls it is important to take note of where my mouse is right now there is this auto arrange icon over here which is like a form of a checkbox you do not want to tick this okay if this box is ticked you can't combine any scrolls so the first thing for all new players is to uncheck this box then what you want to do is that the relics should be formed in this method it's like a plus sign so when you form it in this method together with this box unchecked you will see this little combine button okay so you want to left click all right index finger left click and it will combine into this scroll same thing one more time we're going to do this cross sign arrangement and we're going to combine it one more time okay so as you can see i have a bunch here all messed up even though there are relics at three corners it is still able to combine as long as there is this formation so i'm just going to keep combining for now and the miscellaneous ones what i'll do is i will just move them over all right like this and i'll combine again so i have six scrolls right now for the time being and i want you guys to take a close look at the description okay it says it expires in six days and 23 hours so you guys have to take note do not combine this scroll too early you want to combine this scroll maybe half an hour before you and your party set out for the so-called um, farming of the boss so do take note there is an expiry date the next thing to know is you want to right click the scroll so it will say here that this is a co-op Asian relic shard quest, okay? When you click yes, what it does is that your map will point you to the location where you can summon the boss. So it's over here, all right? That's where the map is pointing me. So if I were to do this boss grow, I will have to so-called go to that location. And so we have reached the location right now where the point of the summoning is. So you may want to park your horse slightly away, all right? And then after that, what you want to do is go to the exact spot, okay? Once you go to the exact spot, what you want to do is open up your inventory one more time. And what you want to do is right click and then just select yes. 
So this is the summoning process where the so-called relic boss will be summoned. Now there are three bosses and I'm going to show you each of them one after another. Okay, so this is the first boss. All right, you'll go through this summoning. Okay, let's go through this process together so it'll be easier for you guys to understand step by step what to expect. All right. So it takes a while to summon, which is like could be pretty boring sometimes. And after this example, I'm going to explain why you should do this in a party. So what you want to do is just keep damaging the boss and so on. Just keep attacking the boss. So first boss is down. That's the fatty boss. All right. I will always call it the fatty boss. So the first boss is down currently and our pets will definitely auto pick up the loot. Okay. Our pets will be picking up the loot and you realize when the first boss goes down, there is no loot, okay? The loot only comes in the last boss, and that is the third one. So this is the second boss. What we want to do is that we want to damage him down ASAP as well, all right? So just hit him. He will summon a few adds, which you are seeing around me right now, but it's no big deal, really, because the boss doesn't really hit that hard, okay? I remember when I first started the game, basically, um, even though I was very undergeared, very low level, I came here trying out this Relic Scroll. And when I was in doubt, the players around me actually asked me to just give it a shot, okay? And I tried and I actually succeeded. So the boss here isn't very hard. So just give it a shot, be confident. And there you go. He's dead. I'm not super well geared, guys. I'm just a little bit over 200 AP. So most of you will be at like 180, 190, or even at 200 AP. So this can be done solo. However, you don't want to do it solo, which I'll explain shortly. Now, here is how you get the reward. Look at the right side of the screen here. It says RMB here to summon Black Spirit. So I'm going to use my slash key on the keyboard. Okay, I'm going to show you the process to quickly do a resummon. Okay, so you want to slash key on your keyboard, press R, escape, press I for inventory, right click and spacebar. This is how you want to keep summoning very, very, very fast. So after this round, I'm going to show you guys again how I do it really, really fast on my keyboard. And I'm going to type out the steps in the description of this video. The reason why you want to spam this scroll very, very fast is because if you have 10 scrolls and every member of your party have 10 scrolls, that is 50 scrolls to summon. And you want to speed through this summoning is because if you don't summon the Black Spirit to complete the quest, you can't summon the next scroll. So everyone has to wait for you to summon Black Spirit and then go through your inventory again and then to summon the boss again. So you want to do this very, very, very fast, okay? So um, just be patient. I'm going to kill these three bosses fast. And earlier on, when I collected the Black Spirit reward, these are the items I'm getting in my inventory, okay? I'll go through them shortly. Don't worry. Let me just get rid of these three bosses first. So remember, there is three bosses. Now, if you need to AFK to get a drink or something like this, it's fine for the first two boss, even if you don't engage in it. But you need to make sure that you engage the third boss, okay? You must land a hit. Whether your character lands a hit or you're riding your horse and your horse is actually hitting the boss, either way it counts, all right? I tried before. I used my Pegasus, I ram into the boss and I still get loot, okay? So you must land a hit at least. So right now, the third boss goes down. Again, the right side of my screen, it says RMB, but I'm not going to do that because it wastes time. So I'm going to slash on the keyboard, press R, escape, I for inventory, right click, spacebar. The spacebar is basically to activate the yes, okay, on the so-called window itself to confirm the summoning. So right now, okay, I'm going to do this last kill, and after that, I'm going to explain all the loot as well as, okay, uh, why you need to do a party. So just let me kill one more round so that I get more loot and then you guys can visualize it better. Okay, we are done. So I'm just going to summon him right now. Okay, and we just got the loot, etc. Now, the first thing you want to do before you open the loot is to go to a marketplace NPC. All right, go to a marketplace NPC before you open the loot. That's my first warning to all new players because when the first time I didn't know and I had like 20 to 30 of all this stuff, when I opened them, they gave me so much HP pot 
that my character couldn't move. My character overloaded halfway through the opening process. So you want to be standing beside a marketplace NPC before you open this so that as much as HP port that is given to you, you can just click the NPC, dump it into the marketplace and then continue to open. So this is tip number one open beside a marketplace NPC. Now you also realize that I get a memory fragment. This memory fragment is not from the Black Spirit reward. It's a RNG drop. Okay, I'm going to talk about this RNG drop shortly. Okay, this is important. This is given reward, the three spears here. This is the RNG reward, including the hunter seal, which is the RNG reward, the so-called Oc nose ring, RNG reward, huge spear which for this is a bit special you can exchange 150 for it of it for some silver or get an offensive weapon box or an accuracy sub weapon box okay so you can either sell the weapon that you got from the box or you can go to western guard camp change it for silver and this powers up pretty fast in three summons i get 25 so it's going to power up very very fast and if you run out of space while farming this boss what you want to do is you want to go to your horse you want to press f6 and you want to unload all these items on your horse so that it doesn't give you the extra weight, okay? So you want to offload all this item on the horse, all right? So all these things like metal armor fragment, um, all these items, some of it can be exchanged. This one, you just NPC it away, all right? This one, you NPC it away. This, which has a list below, you can exchange and exchange. So during the grind, if your character gets overweight, just throw all this item on your horse. Now, let's talk about the key items here. Those are just miscellaneous money-making items. The main item here is this. I have one memory fragment, okay, and one hunter seal. These are RNG drop, which your party mates will get a chance to get as well. This is why you want to do a full party. Let's say, for example, right now, your friend is summoning. When your friend summon, you get a chance to get this RNG drop items, okay? So, and when the first guy finish summoning and the second guy takes his turn to summon, again, you get a chance to get all this item, followed by the third guy, you get a chance to get this item, the fourth guy, and finally yourself, you get a chance to get these items again. So this is good when you are in a party, okay? You can tap on to people's scroll, and then from there on, you can actually capitalize on all this. Now, this hunter seal is important, okay? I want you guys to take note of this. The description here shows exchange two for one black stone armor. Exchange three, now take note, this is three for one black stone weapon. So when you wanna do your reverse so-called calculation, you wanna make sure that when you use three of this for one black stone weapon or versus two for one black stone armor, it's gonna be worth it, okay? Also, you want to look at the bottom part of the screen. It actually says tariff allows you to exchange not only black stone, but also reform stone. So you wanna look at the market situation. Is there a demand for reform stone? Do you want to use it? Do you want to sell it that way? So you make your choice where you want to exchange and what you want to exchange for. And this is a huge money making deal. All right. Trust me, when you finish a party of 10 or 20 scroll per player, this is going to rake you a lot of money, including the RNG memory fragment. So I'm going to bring this apart for now. All right. And I have three of each because per summon boss, the Black Spirit reward, you get one each. Now that I've opened up everything, okay, all the three red ops, what you will want to notice is this. I now have 70 HP pots, okay, this size. Earlier on when I started the game, I only had 20 with me. So by opening all these red ops, this HP pot is going to weigh you down a lot, okay? So that's why you want to be standing beside a marketplace NPC. As you open, you dump this into the marketplace, okay? Now, the next thing is this. I only had one memory fragment picked up by my pets earlier on. But after opening the pots, I had have 17 so-called memory fragments. That is a gain of 16 memory fragments in three summon guys. Okay. Next, I have 21 seals right now. 
which I only had three earlier on. So this is a gain of about 18 seals, okay? So as you can see, the more you do, all this is gonna pile up, including all these little miscellaneous items that you can exchange for money or a weapon, or you can exchange for money here again and a weapon as well. And all this, you just trash it to the NPC, just sell it off. Now, like I explained earlier on, the more you do with a party, the more RNG pickup rate that you guys is gonna have because every summoning is one chance for you. So this is how you want to make a lot more money and there is a reason why the Relic Shard is so popular in the market because everyone that knows this trick basically buys the Shard and then they want to summon and they want to make more money, they want to get more memory fragments for enhancement and stuff. They want to get all all the black stone they can get without buying off the market all right so this is one trick that today i promise you guys i will share with you guys okay on how to make money off ancient relic shots so i hope i deliver the promises to those who have watched my fishing guide so you get all this relic shot mainly i wouldn't say only i would say mainly through fishing okay as you afk fish so if you are curious about how to do fishing efficiently remember check out my two guides that I'm gonna put behind at the end of this video all right the basics to AFK fishing how do you get a perfect catch how do you conserve CPU resources while fishing and also a so-called uh, gear guide what are the cost-effective gear what are the cheap buffs that you can use while you're fishing okay I have all these guides on my channel so if you find today's video helpful please help me click the thumbs up like button this is the best support you can give me and if you if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. I really hope that you can be a permanent subscriber. I would love to have you guys with me. And as always, at the end of the day, I wish you guys a good day or a good evening ahead. I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care for now, enjoy and have fun in the game. Hope you guys make lots of money. Bye-bye.